Scientists exploring the Amazon jungle just discovered a terrifying secret civilization. The Amazon rainforest or Amazonia is a moist broadleaf tropical rainforest covering most of the Amazon basin if you look at the map of South America you'll notice that almost 60% of the the forest is contained within Brazil besides Peru and Colombia also contain a significant percentage of their magnificent rainforest of the Amazon represents over half of the planet's remaining forests it is home to the largest and the most diverse tract of tropical rainforests around the globe with approximately 390 billion individual trees belonging to more than 16,000 species the Amazon rainforest isn't only inhabited by plants and animals around 30 million people belonging to 350 different ethnic groups also live here in total the forest covers an area of 5 million five hundred thousand square kilometers because of its incredible size there are still many parts of the forest that remain unexplored and many secrets that remain undiscovered join us as we learn more about the shocking discoveries from the amazon rainforest that shocked the entire world number one scientists have just found thousands of untouched islands in the middle of the amazon jungle the balbina the dam is one of dozens of big dams that were built across rivers in the Amazon basin back in the 1980s. Recent researchers revealed that the dam created thousands of forest islands that are lush but too small to sustain species and support thriving ecosystems. The Balbina Dam created one of the largest reservoirs in South America that stretches for almost 100 kilometers too. The North, because it's a relatively mountainous part of the basin at more than 3,500 islands have formed from. The reservoir here this has turned the ridges and hills of the region to become island forest. Patches, it's no secret that one of the key reasons behind the, the ongoing biodiversity crisis is habitat. Loss and fragmentation the remaining forest area hydroelectric dams like the Balbino was one of the primary ways humans are disturbing these habitats. The new landscape that emerged after the creation of this dam shows that it forest many species are at risk of rapidly disappearing from the small islands that cannot sustain their populations. Experts believe other factors will also contribute to determining whether a species will be able to cope with this stress. Or not in the last decade scientists from various institutions have spent time and resources in ascertaining which species are vanishing and which ones are persisting in the Balbina Reservoir in one study 22 forest islands of different sizes were compared to three nearby sites that were connected to the main forest but weren't islands the study recorded 608 species representing eight biological groups including large and small mammals diurnal lizards birds frogs dung beetles orchid bees and shrieks according to the results only a few larger islands held the majority of diversity and had complete species assemblages the smaller islands were found to be suffering on these tiny islands only the more adaptable species like armadillos we're able to survive for more than 30 years the bigger mammals like jaguars and tapirs that needed more space vanish from these islands widespread and non-random cases of species going extinct were also discovered on individual islands with the bigger species being more likely to go extinct most of the islands created by the balbina dam are quite small with a 95 is smaller than a square kilometer these many islands are only able to sustain low levels of biodiversity. Experts believe there are major and grave consequences for the ecosystem functioning here. But despite their warning more plans for developing hydropower projects across the lowland, tropical forests are underway this will only expedite the destruction of the spectacular ecosystem of the Amazon rainforest. Number to mapping guard like the 
Sasquatch in the USA or the Black Hide, Ghost in Britain the Amazon Rainforest, also has its very own legendary, nightmarish, looking mythical creature. Called the Mapping Guard according to Brazilian folklore, this monstrous entity, also called the Juma, lives deep inside the Amazon rainforest many tales narrate. The Mapping Guard was once an uh, Amazonian shaman who discovered the key to immortality thousands of years ago, but this angered the gods who punished him by transforming him into a wandering, hairy beast. The depictions of this legendary creatures tend to vary in some accounts describe it as a hairy humanoid. Cyclops, while others claim is actually based on a cultural memory of a giant ground. Sloth, most modern sightings align with the description of the now extinct giant sloth. Cryptozoologists think that the map inquiry is either a mylodonted or a megalomanic kid from the Ice Age that inhabited this region. The creature also has a horrible odor that can actually not block you unconscious. Some stories say that the creature has a gaping mouth on its abdomen. The name a mapping guard is a contraption of three to Guarani, words that put together walk quadruply or bipedally. Some sightings describe it as a quick and agile nocturnal animal that feeds on vegetation like pacaba and babasu palms. Zoologists think it's probably a bear instead of a sloth or ape there is no evidence to prove his existence but the locals strongly believe it is real there is also a mapping gari statue installed in the parque ambiento chico mendes located in rio branco brazil number three strange abandoned villages researchers discovered 25 villages that were abandoned a long time ago while exploring what is now called the state of Akari in western Brazil these villages debunked between 1300 and 1700 a dia team of scientists used a helicopter mounted a lidar or light detection and ranging technology to see what lies beneath the rainforest foliage and get a big picture view of those structures in that area besides the circular communities they also discovered 11 more villages constructed in rectangular patterns and 15 that were sold and destroyed the getting a center there layout was impossible the archaeologists found between 3 and 32 mounds ranging in height from less than 10 feet to more than 65 feet they still don't know what purpose these mounds serve they could have been houses or burial places these villages were laid out like clock faces Arranged in symbolically significant weight, some experts think these circular layouts might reflect on the indigenous inhabitants' concept of the cosmos. The lie radar images also revealed a pattern of sunken roads with high banks extending from most of these villages. These often connect one village to another in a network that is spread across many miles for many decades now. Archaeologists have believed that this part of the rainforest was sparsely occupied in the years before the European colonization. But these LIDAR images tell an entirely different story. Experts have stated that this new discovery has provided them with immense knowledge about the long human history of the area. Centuries before the advent of this mound-building culture, the inhabitants of the region used to erect massive, geometrically patterned Earthworks, but abandoned these somewhere around 950 AD number for the men of the whole men of the whole is a title given to an indigenous man who according to the report to the non-profit organization called Survival International has survived in isolation in the Amazon rainforest for about 26 years he lived in the Brazilian state called Hondonia. He was the last living member of an uncontacted Amazon tribe according to most reports he was about 60 years old at the time of his death. He was given the moniker for his habit of digging deep holes in the ground to trap animals or hide in his body was discovered by an official from Brazil's indigenous protection agency called FUNE. It was 
inside a hammock hanging outside his hut. Made of straw, there was no signs of struggle or violence indicating that he died a natural death. His entire tribe had been killed in a series of vicious attacks that started in the 1970s and carried on for many decades. The attackers were mostly cattle ranchers who wanted to expand their land. Fiona Watson, a research and advocacy director, Survival International State didn't no, outside and knew this man's name nor was there any information about his tribe. With his death, the ethnic cleansing of his people was completed human rights. Advocates considered this death of an entire tribe a deliberate act of wiping out an entire people the hands of greedy cattle ranchers. No one knows how he managed to survive alone in the jungle for more than two decades. Or what? Horrors he had witnessed in his life, he determinedly resisted all attempts of contact and made it clear that he wanted to be left alone back in 2018. A funny had released footage of this unfortunate man hacking away at a tree with an axe on his abandoned campsite. Researchers found the crops he had planted, including corn, papaya, and bananas. And just like the men in the whole, most other indigenous. Tribes of the Amazon faced similar threats at the hands of foreigners were dead. Set on driving them out and taking over their land. Number five silk hench a few years ago. Visitors to the Peruvian Amazon forest discovered a strange picket fence-like structure they nicknamed silk hench. It was something they had never seen before and therefore it piqued their curiosity. Naturalists wanted to find out how this was made and who made it so they watched the structure for several days but they were unable to solve this mystery. Scientist Troy Alexander consulted with several entomologists and finally came to the conclusion that it was most probably built by a Cribella spider, which is famous for building such elaborate structures. At first many Experts and online nature enthusiasts agreed with Alexander's hypothesis, but there were a few who postulated that it could be the work of a fungus or caterpillar scientists Phil Torres along with entomologist Larry Reeves and Gina Hill and photographer Jeff Kramer returned to the site where the picket fence was found. They Observed the area for an entire week. The scientists found more than 45 different picket fences along a 200 meter stretch of the trail. Finally, they their efforts paid off when they discovered spiderlings hatching from three of these fences. They still don't know what species of spiders these spiderlings belong to, but the picket fences are holding on to their attention for many reasons, one being the spiders don't commonly lay eggs and then abandon them. They usually put these in silicon egg sacs weaved in their own webs for ensuring maximum protection. They also found a large number of mites in the area with picket fences. So they were also considered potential fence builders. That is until the entomologists found the spiders. They believe the fence serves to protect the egg in the center from other predatory Insects that could also contain a chemical attractant to lure in mites, ants, and other insects. The newly hatched spiderlings could feed on. So far, that's all we know about these spiders and fences. But scientists are working day and night to find out more. Number six, a boiling river, the Shanite. Impishka, also sometimes referred to as La Bamba, is a tributary of the Amazon River. It is the only Boiling River in the entire world, the 6.4 kilometer long tributary is famous for the incredibly high temperatures of its waters. But most days, the temperature ranges between 45 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Its name Shania Tempishka means boiled by the heat of the sun, but that is not quite accurate as the actual reason behind the scolding hot temperatures of Ale Bomba's water is actually geothermal. It is located in the Mayan Tiyaku Sanctuary, which is part of the Huanukiwe Forest. The local shamans believe that the boiling river was 
birthed by Yakumama a huge yourself and spirit also called the mother of the waters a geothermal. Scientists named Andreas Russo investigated the source of the heat causing the water to boil the river tends to maintain its high temperature even though it's nowhere near any known volcanoes or geothermal vents its unique nature has been described as an entirely natural feature by national geographic it is a non-volcanic geothermal feature flowing at abnormally high rates most experts believe that the heat comes from the geothermal gradient of the earth because it's closer to the earth's mantle the Underground water tends to be of a higher temperature, apparently the rain. Water falls on the surface of the Amazon rainforest and seeps down into the crust. Through deep-rooted faults, this water gets heated according to the geothermal gradient and is then fed to the surface via fault-fed hot springs that heat up. La Bomber along its stretch this extraordinary river is also at risk due to the rapid deforestation and might disappear in the near future if it isn't controlled number seven geoglyphs recently experts discovered hundreds of circles in the ground of the amazon rainforest dating back thousands of years these geoglyphs suggest that humans have been manipulating the landscape here for thousands of years before the europeans Set foot in the region scientists are still confused by these circles and are unable to figure out their purpose. The Amazon has been regarded as a pristine ecosystem that remained largely undisturbed by humans until the Europeans arrived. But this new discovery proves that people were here centuries before we assumed modern deforestation has led to the revelation these 450 geometrically shaped ditches that Occupy around 13,000 square kilometers in Acre, Brazil. These geoglyphs remained undetected for hundreds of years as they were covered by trees, but rapid deforestation the region rendered them visible from the air. Archaeologists are not sure why these circles were built. They didn't find enough artifacts to ascertain whether it was a village or a defense strategy some experts have speculated that these could have been ritual gathering spaces jennifer walton the lead researcher along with her team reconstructed six thousand years of vegetation and fire history around two of these geoglyphs they discovered that humans had been manipulating the bamboo forests in order to create temporary clearings for these geoglyphs this also solidifies the theory the amazonian forests have been managed by indigenous peoples long before European contact walting. Thinks that this evidence of human contact serves to highlight the ingenuity of past subsistence regimes that did not lead to forest degradation. Number eight bullet heads among the many deadly creatures patrolling the Amazon rainforest is a tiny critter that can take down an entire person the bullet and can grow up to 1.5 inches in length. And only a few of them can kill an adult human being. It's also called the bullet. Hum, because according to some of its victims, the sting at this end is equal to being shot. It would be wrong to call it Amazon's most lethal insect, according to entomologist Dr. Justin Schmidt. The sting of this venomous ant causes pure, intense, and brilliant pain. It's almost like walking over flaming charcoal with a three-inch nail embedded in your heel. It is native to Central and South America. And according to the Schmidt pain scale for stinging insects, it is rated as a four plus, which means it exceeds the highest threshold on the scale once bit in the pain will last between five and 24 hours with symptoms like waves of excruciating pain temporary paralysis and shaking in the poisoned area fortunately the pain of a bullet and sting causes a local reaction and the venom doesn't spread to the vital organs or other body parts it is also called the periphenera clavartin latin and usually lives in colonies of several hundred ants at the base of the rainforest trees the worker ants tend to forage for small arthropods and nectar 
To feed on it is estimated that four bullet ants can be found per hectare in the South and Central American forests, while most people would never approach these monsters. The members of the indigenous tribes of Terry Marway of Brazil have a ritualistic relationship with them. Sedated bullet ants are woven into gloves by members of this tribe and young men and boys then put their hands in these clubs. They are supposed to bear the pain caused by the waking bullet. Ants for five whole minutes the boys have to do this a total of 20 times too. Complete their initiation ritual and be considered men and warriors. Nine, uncontacted a war tribe be aware are indigenous people from Brazil who live in the Amazon rainforest the tribe currently has around 350 members and about 100 of them have no contact with the outside world this tribe is considered highly endangered because the conflict with logging interests in the territory controlled by them they are why are people speak it too peak orani language called the guaja initially they used to live in settlements but later adopted a nomadic lifestyle around the beginning of the 19th century in order to escape incursions by the european invaders they are people became targets of increasing attacks by the european settlers in the region who cleared out most of the forests covering their land from the mid 1980s onwards a few however people moved to government established settlements but for the most part they maintain their traditional way of life they mainly survive in the forests in the form of nomadic groups of a few dozen people with a little or no contact with the outside world there forests they depended on were living and were being destroyed by logging and land clearance for farming and their people were being killed killed by settlers this led to the world bank and european union too give the brazilian government a whopping 900 million dollars loan alone was conditioned with the protection of the lands and people of certain indigenous tribes including the hour if it wasn't for the government intervention the tribe and its culture would have gone extinct long ago however the brazilian government still took a lot of time to act on its commitment it wasn't until 2003 that the hours land was finally demarcated however this didn't stop the invaders and loggers who kept encroaching on their territory and murdering their tribesmen number 10 yellow bulbs and strange insects the video of a strange tree with small yellow bulbs covering its trunk discovered in the amazon rainforest confused many scientists some thought this was a strange kind of fungus but closer inspection made it seem highly unlikely but investigating these bulbs further revealed something interesting these alien protuberances were being eaten by caterpillars but even more confusing was the fact that the caterpillars weren't the only ones there numerous ants were surrounding these caterpillars feeding on the yellow bulbs because the ants were not attacking or harming the fragile butterfly larvae scientists assumed there had to be some sort of symbiotic relationship between the two groups this kind of coordination between ants and caterpillars had never been seen before a mutualistic relationship is now called mama coggly and has odd scientists for a long time